Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing my first install of home improvement and I'm gonna be installing these door blockers. Helps to prevent theft, robbery from breaking into your house by basically trying to kick your door down. Also prevents your little kids from running outside wild and free when you're not looking. So let's get to it right away. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. All right, so the instruction says you have to install it six inches above the door lock, which is the door lock right here. So anywhere six inches from here, all the way to the top of the door, you can install from here, all the way up to here, anywhere here, all the way down, until you hit right this point, like six inches above the door lock, okay? I decided to go about 25 inches from the top of the door so it's gonna go like around here reason being is I have three kids and they're very young and one of them likes to run outside it's opening door so this door blocker is gonna help prevent them from going outside so let me show you guys how it's supposed to be installed so this is the door blocker you see the smooth part? The smooth part right here is going to be facing the door like that. This is the lock position. It's kind of hard to unlock it. Oh yeah, actually I can do it by pulling it to the left and it locks like that. And then simply, if you want to lock it, you just push it forward. Also guys, just to point it out, while you're replacing that door or while you're installing that door blocker, check your screws and all these parts of your door, your hinges, and you'll see that the screws they provide you is this tiny. <laughs> oh my God. It's not gonna do anything. That's why majority of the time when somebody kick your door down, it's so easy because these little screws doesn't really hold your door. Okay, so the best thing to do is replace them with Longer screws, okay? Longer screws. That's all, it, that's all it takes. Anything over an inch and a half or something like that will do. Boom, that's it, okay? I'm gonna replace all of these in every single part of my house and that's gonna make me sleep better at night. Hope it does the same thing for you guys. All right, so once you got your measurements set up, you can get your door blocker and just put it against the door jam like that. You can trace it out. So if you need to chisel it out later or use a router because it's too thick, just wanna mark it around it so you know where to chisel. And then once you got that covered, just drill a hole right here in the middle first with a little small screw, okay? Cause you wanna make sure the door is flush because you might have to move it from left to right later on. Okay, once you got it flushed, I'm actually gonna loosen it just a little bit so I could move it around. You want it to be able to move it around so when we close the door later, we'll find out if it's uh, flush or not. And then once we're happy or satisfied with the adjustments, drill some holes and put the long screws in there. Leave it open, but again, pull it towards you to open it and then we'll fit the door. All right, so here's the door. And that's pretty good. There's no friction. It's not banging into the door, so it's not gonna scrape the door. That's what you want. See it right here? You want that flush like that. You don't want it like sticking out too much like that. I mean, that's a fine, but I'd rather make sure the door is flush like that, like against it. I'm gonna pull this back to open it. There's no friction between the door and the door jam, or this piece right here. If there is, then that means you gotta chisel it in. Or if you have a router, just use a router. Makes your life easier. Now that I'm happy with this measurement, I'm gonna drill some holes in it. Oh 
I'm gonna put this three, two and a half inch. There you go, one. Two. Three. And there it is. All right, so let's try it out. Okay. You push the door. It's easy, open. And then push this thing, it locks. Now the door is unlocked, so I'm gonna try to open it up. And I'm putting a lot of force in it, it's not opening. Right, it's holding its own, it's holding its own. I'm gonna reinforce that with the lock, then you can't really move it at all. Somebody trying to kick it, this thing could withstand 800 pounds. So go ahead on, man, try to kick the door down. You're gonna be hurt, be hurting. All right, and uh, unlock it. Just push the door back so it's easy, easy, um, you can pull it out easily. Otherwise, you're gonna have a hard time trying to open this thing. Because if you try to open it, it locks it. So now if you push it back, there you go, easy. There it is, all done. Let's just show you guys, I installed it everywhere in my house. Pretty easy. Boom, that's the front door. Let's go to the other door. Got to install as well in the guest room. This is actually this way. So easy peasy. You can install it pretty much everywhere. I think I'm going to have to chisel or router the front door because there is some kind of resistant. I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about. You hear that sound? See that? It's actually hitting it. So. I will chisel this part right here or use a router and it should be smooth sailing after that no problem cool also put one in the garage door I know I got so many doors in the house here you go Again, easy peasy. And that's it for me, folks. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoy this little security security check for your house. It's pretty helpful preventing your kids from running outside the house if you got small ones. Or if you don't have any alarm system in your house and you want it protected. And basically, this is one of them. Robbery deterrent on tough deterrent. It's pretty good. All right guys. Thanks for watching uh, Be safe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Go. There you go. Check it out. We got one in the guest room Boom once again pull out and then push forward if you want to lock it perfect